Hi, my name is James, and today for Wonder Zone, we are going to be learning about electromagnets. For our experiment today, you're going to need a couple of things a large D cell battery, electrical tape, a length of thin insulated copper wire, and an uh, iron nail or screw, or if you just have any piece of thin iron metal, that'll work. And then also, I've got some paper clips here. So, let's talk about magnets. A magnet is any object that naturally creates a magnetic field. Okay, what's a magnetic field? Well, a magnetic field is an invisible force. And what it can do is it can tr attract ferrous objects like iron, zinc, uh, different types of metals like that. And it can also repel and attract different magnetic objects. So I have a normal magnet here, and I've just got some paper clips. And you can see, I can use my magnet, pick everything up with that. The difference between an electromagnet and this normal magnet is, I can't turn this off. It's always going to be magnetic no matter what I do with it. An electromagnet, though, is created by using electricity. Any wire that we have, if we run a current through it, creates a magnetic field naturally. And we're going to use that property today to create our electromagnet. So what you're going to do is take your wire, and you want to give yourself a pretty good length and you are going to wrap it around your material just like this over and over and over and over again you want to wrap all the way down and you want to leave about two to three inches off of the ends it should look something like this now with our uh, electromagnet here it is important to remember we're going to be working with electricity we're going to be working with a battery so we don't want to zap ourselves that's why we're using an insulated wire however we do need to strip that insulation off of the ends of the wire. Now it's pretty easy to do this. You can just take a nail file and uh, parents, you should definitely take this part and just take the nail file and file on the ends of the wire just to strip that enamel off. You should be able to tell pretty easily. And what you're gonna do, we've got it wrapped, we've got our battery. Take our electrical tape. For safety here, in addition to not wanting to zap ourselves, we're gonna make sure we're not touching the ends of the wire when it's connected to the battery. We've got our electrical tape for that but also the wire, especially on the ends, is going to produce heat. So the tape's gonna protect us from that. Now what I've found easiest to do is tape one end, take the flat end of the battery, and just set it down on top. That'll make things a little easier. Take the other end, touch it there, put the battery on top, and you're noticing I'm careful not to touch the bare wire with my hands. And there, I've got my magnet complete. Now let's see if it works. There we go. Just like that. Now, as I said, whoop, <laughs> my wire came loose. As I said, with a normal magnet, you can't turn it on and off, but with an electric magnet, and actually we'll take advantage of this, my wire fell off. See, it's not, it's not attacking to anything because I've cut the circuit out. But if I plug that back in, Plug it back in, and it goes right back to being a magnet again. Thank you guys for joining me. Be sure to join us again soon for the next Wonder Zone video for more hands-on fun.